Living organisms are the most complex systems known to us. When nature creates them, it can choose from millions of organic molecules and arrange them into the desired structures. All of us have learned how to assemble building blocks with our hands to build structures of various complexity. But what happens if these building blocks become as small as molecules? At the Institute of Functional Nanostructures at Surfaces, which is part of Peter Grünberg Institute at Forschungszentrum Bielich in Germany, we explore the potential and feasibility of nanoscale engineering. Already more than 20 years ago, people learned how to manipulate individual atoms. Now, we are up to a much more complex task. We would like to use our microscopes to manipulate large organic molecules. Studying molecular systems, we follow several approaches, including, for example, the self-assembly of molecular layers on metals. In general, our work is firmly based on surface physics and surface chemistry, as we use many concepts and methods from surface science to lay the foundations for our molecular scale engineering experiments. A particular effort in this context is the engineering of nanostructures with scanning probe microscopes. Here we learn how to handle molecules individually, one by one. Our microscope essentially has one important part, and this is a very sharp metal needle, or as we call it, the tip. When we bring the tip in the close vicinity of the surface, then, due to quantum mechanical effect of electron tunneling, or due to some special force interactions, the tip actually fills the surface. Our scanning probe microscope, or short SPM, is basically like a finger that can feel single atoms and single molecules and thereby image them, visualize them. But what is even more exciting is that with this finger we can touch those things on the surface and even move them around. Based on our surface science work, we have developed a model system for the handling of single molecules with scanning probe microscopes. The central idea is to employ a class of molecules with particularly reactive atoms that can form local bonds, for example, to the substrate on which the molecule sits. Those reactive atoms can also be used to pick up the molecule with a scanning tunneling microscope tip. Unlike atoms that can be depicted as small spherical objects, large organic molecules have enormous complexity with many degrees of freedom. And due to their size, they become very soft, very flexible, and moreover, they stick to the surface much stronger than single atoms do. The bond to the surface needs to be broken gradually. We do it by peeling the molecule off and lifting individual atoms one after another. And this works well for a single molecule because the lower end of the molecule is free to slide across the surface as we lift its upper end. When many molecules sit together on a surface, they also bind to each other, for example, through so-called hydrogen bonds. Now manipulation becomes difficult because we also have to break the bonds between the molecules. Since these bonds prevent the molecule from sliding across the surface, the wrong tip trajectory would lead to a rupture of the bond between tip and molecule. To find the right trajectory, we actually had to try a new approach. We thought, why don't we use our body intuition? If we could move the tip of the microscope with our hand, then we could quickly try many different ways of lifting the molecule. And observing the measured signals, we could also adjust our actions in real time. With the help of two cameras, we can track the position of this marker in space. So now, coupling the position of the marker to the position of the microscope tip, we can, holding the marker, literally touch and pull our molecules by hand. To check our new technique, we decided to write a word. The first word stenciled into the molecular layer, removing 47 molecules by hand, one by one. So in a matter of only a few hours, we solved the manipulation problem by intuition which, with analytic computing, would be unsolvable. 
Writing a word may seem like playing, but the fact that we can manipulate molecules by hand opens new exciting possibilities. For example, we can use the information gained from these experiments to reconstruct the molecular interactions. So if we knew those interactions beforehand, then manipulation would actually become a deterministic problem and we could simply delegate it to a computer. But reconstructing these interaction potentials is an enormously difficult challenge simply due to the complexity of the molecules which are involved. To solve this problem, we have to involve computers. And to make the computers understand our experiment, we have to give it a model, a molecular simulation that could actually run while we do the experiment. And finally, to understand the results of such a simulation, we have to use a good way of visualizing them. This is why, for example, we use these virtual reality goggles here, which help us to see the molecule as we manipulate it. So, in other words, to fully control molecular manipulation, we have to join the reality of the experiment with the virtual reality of the computer simulation in real time. 30 years ago, the scanning tunneling microscope revolutionized surface science, making atoms visible for the first time. We believe that today, experiments like the one shown in this video point the way to an entirely new quality of nanoscale engineering.